Good evening and thank you for considering Hinchywood School for your child. I'm Katie Cullen and I'm the Assistant Head Teacher at Hinchleywood School. This presentation is designed to give you a little more information about how we support children with special needs and disabilities at our school. We are committed to offering an inclusive curriculum to secure the best possible progress for all our students, whatever their needs or abilities. Our vision and values for students with special educational needs and disabilities is the same as for all young people at Hinchywood School. We want them to be confident, considerate, determined, enthusiastic and independent learners. We want them to be inspired to reach their full potential and we want to prepare them for a successful life after Hinchley Wood. We are passionate about helping students with special needs at Hinchley Wood School and at the heart of our inclusive approach is, is ensuring that our teachers deliver high quality teaching and learning opportunities for all our students regardless of their need. In addition to this we have a skilled team of both pastoral and send support workers who students can look to for even more individual guidance and help. Teachers have a learning profile for each student with additional needs. There is a clear belief that all teachers have the highest expectations for all students and differentiate the curriculum to meet the individual's needs. We value and respect diversity in our setting and do our best to meet the needs of all of our learners. Regular reviews are carried out to ensure students are making good progress and action is taken if issues have arisen. We have a wide ranging transition plan to help all of our year six students settle into their new school quickly. And in addition to this, we also have extra SEND support and intervention, which includes conversations with the year six teachers, a transition programme of early support to help those identified with SEND needs, a large team of experienced learning support assistants and specialist SEND staff who are on hand to give help and identify any interventions that might be needed and a wide variety of interventions to support additional needs such as Lego therapy, managing your emotions and supported study and reading ambassadors to name a few. In year seven we also have a transition group the aim of the transition class is to help students coming into year seven develop the basic social, literacy and numeracy skills needed to succeed at Hinchywood School. Typically, students will be admitted to this group when we believe their literacy and or numeracy skills need additional support for them to achieve to the best of their ability. There are normally 13 to 15 students in this transition group and the decision to offer a place is made in consultation with all parties, including parents and carers. The transition group students will be part of a mainstream year seven tutor group. They will, however, have their maths, English, science and languages in these smaller groups. We are very proud of the progress made by our transition group students and some have achieved the grades to enter our sick form or other sick form colleges by the end of year 11. If your child is on the SEND register at Hinchywood School, in addition to whole school parents evenings and reporting, we also offer you the opportunity to meet with a member of our SEND team once a term. In the SEND progress afternoons, you will have the opportunity to discuss how well your child is doing and if there are any further areas where we can offer support. If you are considering applying for a place for your child in the NAS Cullum Centre, your child will need an EHCP and their primary diagnosis must be autism. This is a resource base to support students with autistic spectrum condition in years 7 to 11 and has been designed to help those students to thrive in a mainstream school. 
So our students attend at least 80% of their lessons in the main school. Which means if you are considering applying for Hinchley Wood, your child must be able to access a mainstream curriculum and working at a level that means they will be capable of attaining at least five GCSE at a past grade four or above in year 11. There is flexibility within the curriculum to help lessen those demands on those students and additional adult support will be given both in class and in the Cullum Centre as appropriate for the individual. We extend the school day to help students to check in with their key worker at least twice a day. The support in lessons is also usually higher than the mainstream EHCPs as the ratio of one to two. But the aim is to enable students to become more independent over time and therefore not need an LSA in class as much. Social times such as break and lunch are supervised by SEND adults if the student chooses to spend them in the Cullum Centre and this is often where interventions are in place to help aid positive social interactions. If your child has an educational health care plan you will find much of the information about the SEND local offer in the literature given to you through your SEND caseworker. To help you in your decisions, we hope that this information has been of use. We are really disappointed that we've not been able to meet and speak with you all in person, but we would like to wish you all the best in your choices for the future. And thank you for listening to our presentation.